Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to another BlackSwanRadio.com production. You're listening to Rondell L. Jordan. I am your host. If this is your first time here, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channels. You can find me at BlackSwanRadio.com. IlluminatedNubians.com We're on Spotify We're on Anchor You can connect with us on any platform pretty much My purpose really is to encourage you to Explore the world And the word of God You know That is a day by day practice And the most significant Thing that someone can give you Through the voice I personally believe And I could be wrong But it's perspective You know Someone can give you A perspective that changes The way you View life Changes the way you 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 live your daily (laughs) You know Give you a sense of gratitude towards life. You know, a lot of people tend to get caught up in the negative aspect of life because they haven't been taught one key thing about life. And that, I think, can be summed up into one word determination. Determination, because determination has two very significant definitions. You know, determination like you determine this destination, this time, and this place, the purpose, the the outcome, the result. You know, determination. But then also. In order to achieve that outcome, you need to, you know, put forth a sense of determination to overcome each step and the variables, the detractors, because, you know, this... There's at times turbulence even on a smooth flight. You know. I was saying to my coworker, you do realize that clouds are bodies of water, right? And collectively, when we travel above the clouds, right, we are traveling overseas. Because what do you call a large body of water? Just because it's condensed. It's the same material. <laughs> it's the snowflake, it's the, it's the ocean, it's the rivers, the seas. It's the same, the same matter. And the only difference is because of its atmosphere. Right? You know, its atmosphere determines its presentation, how it how it manifests. And so when we travel overseas, typically we're going to our paradises, some place that we determined. The frequency is again determined by you. Now, a lot of people will use, you know, what they can afford and what they can't afford to 
be the limitations of what they plan what they believe they can achieve or do but I remember watching the Olympics in 2008 and I was witnessing it was in Beijing China and I was witnessing how wonderful a spectacle it was you know and I said well, why am I not there you know this is a this is where the greatest human beings in the athletic realm and in the realm of creativity come together and present a wonderful spectacle on the planet earth <laughs> why am I not there and I said it's because I didn't think about it before to go in order to prepare to go so it was then I determined that I was going to go to the Olympic Games in 2016 which were being held in Rio de Janeiro Brazil and it took about it took an eight year journey that led up to that result, that objective. That was now, you know, eight years ago. So this is eight years and as I reflect on my time at the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro and how magical the experience was I, I've actually been back to Rio 11 times now last year I had the privilege to tr travel with my youngest son and I took him to Mount Corcovado see the Redeemer we went on a fishing trip you know just hung out ate some food went to the beach rode some electric bikes up and down Copacabana in Benima. you know the year before we my sons and I we went to Egypt and we took a hot air balloon ride over the Nile River we cruised the Nile from Ashwan to lecture. We went to see the towers in Giza, the Khufu, Kefri, and Snefru. And, oh, excuse me, Kefri. Right? But these experiences were realized by my studies, my faith, visualization, and determination. These took place during, many of our experiences took place during lockdowns and shutdowns. And during the, the lockdowns of the Western Hemisphere, I, I was in Zanzibar, Tanzania, where there wasn't any precautions or measures. My point is, these experiences all occurred because of determination. When I realized that it's up to me to put myself in these places. And each year, you know, sometimes I've, I've done four, five trips in a year. In my worst year where everything was being locked down and everything was falling down and I was losing everything. But I, I chose, I said, hey, with all loss means that it's less baggage. It's less for me to worry about. I'll absolve all of that. I won't worry about the possessions. I'll value the freedom. You have to use the change to your advantage. 
Otherwise it will become your disadvantage It will It will disable you And year after year After year that you could have been used To create Or fulfill Your determinations Things that you were determined to do does Everything that you know these things Are valuable to me But each and every person Have their own calling But I encourage My Listeners To explore The world And the word of God Because the word Is access to the world The keys to the kingdom But it's only by your faith That you can achieve these outcomes Or your faith at least in What I'm saying Enough to experiment with it Or experience it Or explore it To make it make sense To verify it Or disapprove it But if you verify it This means that you can now use it To frequently create A more fulfilling Year after year Right Life Time You know a lot of people live By make belief They live by philosophies And theories but if you live by faith you, you will have A track record Of experiences Outcomes And this I'm telling you Is it's all about living A fulfilling life Fulfilling your purpose Fulfilling your inner Desires and ambitions You know a lot of people Shame Will shame you for The truth that you want to live But you are the author Of The life you want to live You know Knowledge The fruits of knowledge Was eye opening (laughs) Their eyes were open And they recognized That they were uncovered Right? Unprotected And they matured They they became procreative They they made They took the fig leaves Where, where did they get the fig leaves from? The fig tree <laughs> and The fig is only The only fruit mentioned in the garden In Eden But if you bit the apple Which means you've taken from the fruit of discord Which is from the goddess Discordia or What the Greeks called Eris The daughter of Zeus Who was the, the queen of Chaos or the goddess of Chaos and confusion and she, she Who dropped the apple Of discord the golden apple To cause The Trojan war Because of vanity between the goddesses Helena, Aphrodite To sum all this up here For those who want to live in truth Based upon knowledge The fruits of knowledge Understand that Knowledge Makes one unfit to be enslaved The reason why is because you become Enabled to go beyond Above and beyond Where the slave they stay put In the garden Laboring To tend to keep it But this knowledge here Is to fortify your spirit To fortify your faith Help you fund your ventures I want to thank you for listening To another BlackSwanRadio.com Make sure you subscribe And leave your comment I value your input This discussion is to inspire